How to create Google Business Profile, Google Business Tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Google Business. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you need to note is Google Business is the platform when you search for any business on Google, you're able to see it directly on Google Maps or you're able to directly see answers to your questions. So creating your business on Google can be super helpful in getting more traffic towards your location or towards your website and to be able to establish your brand. So to get started, all you have to do is simply head on over to Google Business Profile and click on Manage Now or click on Sign In to get started. Now, if you're logged in on your browser, it's automatically going to use that email to create your Google listing. So whichever business profile that you want to create your email with, you want to choose that particular account. So this is a pre-existing profile that I created and I'll show you guys how you can get started as well. Now to get started, all you have to do is click on add business and click on add single business. Now, if this is your first business, it's going to directly lead you to this building page. Now, once you are on this page, you're going to add your business name. So let's say it's uh, Sparkle or something like that. Sparkle, Sam, something like that. So let's say I want to add this as a business name. Then you're going to add your business category. So keep in mind, there are two basic types of businesses. First off, you have the type of business where people can visit your retail outlet or, you know, your physical location. Secondly, you might be in the service industry and you might provide at-home services where you don't require a physical location. So for this example, we're going to continue with a retail business. So we are just going to search for retail or clothing retail. Uh, let's say this is a clothing store and I'm going to click on next over here. And then after that, you are going to choose whether or not you'd like to add a location or a store or a office. So we're going to click on next over here and then you're going to enter your business address. Now, this is totally optional if you are creating a, a direct store. So, you know, a direct business, let's say we are a nail technician. So uh, let's say we have a nail technician or just, you know, you can add a nail salon just to make it easier for you to list. And then if you don't have a location, you're going to click on no and then click on next. So if I go with this example of a business that does not have a physical location, it's going to be optional. So as you guys can see, it's going to add if you have a location that is optional for you to add and you can change this as well. Now, this can be skipped or you can just click on continue over here and then just add your region over here instead of adding your physical location. What happens if you add the location where your personal business is what it does is that it estimates the area where you can provide services which can be helpful in guiding people whether or not they can you know get the, the services that they require now after that you have a phone number and a website section which is uh, necessary so you either have to add a website or a phone number i'm gonna go ahead and add our shopify store as our website it is necessary for you to later on add your phone number or verification because google business does like to verify the stores or you know any of the listings that they create so it's very essential that you are able to verify this later on so i'm just going to add our business website over here and also make sure to include a phone number because if you don't have a phone number then it's very difficult for customers to contact your business now after that you have to enter a mailing address now mailing addresses are necessary for your business to be verified on google google usually sends a code or usually asks you for verification in the form of a video where you are visiting the location and you can show evidence that you are running the cash register or something like that if you have a physical location and if you're in the service-based industry it still does require some kind of verification that you actually are present in that particular area now after that you're just going to enter your address and confirm your verification and we can go into the next step which is actually adding our services so for us let's say we are doing you know multiple different items you can click on show more and you can have multiple different suggestions so let's say we don't do kids manicures we only do Let's say we do dip powder, exfoliation, eyelash extension, foot or French manicures, gel manicures, and manicures, acrylic nails, nail repair, nail painting, nail extension, cotton filing, decals, designs, and then polish removal, slow nails, 
and more and then you can click on add custom services so if any of these suggested services do not fall under your domain so if you have more services that you are providing then you can add custom services as well one thing i always do recommend is to add as many of your specific services on your google business listing because oftentimes if people are scrolling through and they are looking to get something very specific done if you don't have it listed people are just going to move to the next alternate option that actually has it listed even if you are providing the same service you are going to lose out on business simply because it wasn't listed in your google business listing so if i provide something like um 3d nail art 3d nail art like this i can click on add custom service and you know i can add multiple different custom services and then you can click on next over here now once you click on next you are going to add your business hours and you can add breaks in your business hours as well so let's say we are open saturdays and sundays and we're closed the rest of the week and we open or let's say we open 24 hours on saturday and on sundays let's say we open at 8 a.m and then we stay open till let's say we stay open till 4 p.m and then i can add hours i can add a break and let's say we reopen at 9 p.m and then close at 11 30. so in this way you can add breaks obviously your breaks are going to vary but you can add you know these uh, broken down hours to be able to add or schedule in your breaks this can be helpful in making sure none of your customers actually show up to your location and then they're like oh this business is closed and then they go back and you lose out on business now once you have added your business hours you're going to click on next over here and once you click on next you have multiple different options so first off you have your messaging options where you can choose if you accept messages or not i like to accept messages because if a question or query is required by a customer if they have something to ask i like to reply to them directly on google now you can choose to disable this if you are running a larger scale business or a larger company or brand your brand policy you can turn that off as well so i'm going to keep it on because we're just creating this profile as a small business now after that you have your basic business description so this should include keywords it should be small concise and have multiple keywords so let's say this is going to be affordable nail technician professional nail services by me jane like this and you know you want to add multiple different keywords so our keywords as a nail technician probably include nail art nail paint acrylic nails all are provided so you can just convert your keywords into sentences and just add like one or two lines and then after that you're going to click on next now once you click on next you are going to add photos of your business so it's very essential that you add some representative photos of your work if you don't have some already then you can take some new photos and upload those i'm just using some stock images currently just to fill out the space and we are just going to add those and then once you have added photos of your business you are going to click on next over here and then after that you have a really amazing offer provided to you by google where you can get 600 dollars in ad credit so if you try google ads today they give you 600 dollars in ad credit when you spend 600 dollars. so in total you have to spend uh 600 to receive an additional uh bonus you could say and if you're already planning on running google ads which a lot of people already are when they're launching their businesses make sure to avail this offer but you can skip it if you don't want to get started with google ads and then and just click on continue and just like that once you verify your business your profile will be publicly available just like we have this sample profile over here where you will be able to see all details of your business people can review your business they have suggested businesses as well you can also set up your booking services and products directly on google so as you guys can see on our business over here we can click on get started with a booking button and we can integrate one of the booking platforms to further uh, further make our business listing more interactive with consumers so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to